So by the time we post this video, Valentine's Day is likely to have been over. It's guaranteed to have been over. It is guaranteed to be over. Who's your Valentine? Todd. Well, he's mine too. Oh, that's, Bro. that's an awkward love triangle right there. This is not Todd, okay. we're going to make you choose. Who's your favorite? How can you resist such a cute face? There can only be one. One love. Fight for, to the death. <laughs> one love for the Ikea plant. For the fake plant. The cheap Ikea plant. He probably can't feel love. That we're assuming to be fake. He hasn't really grown since we gotten him. Nothing's changed. And we think he has plastic roots. And we killed him and put him back in the dirt and he's and he's just the exact same as he's always been. Yep. But in all reality we do feel uh we feel bad for Todd. He um he doesn't have a Valentine. So if uh if any of you happen to know of a succulent that could be Todd's uh significant other, leave a comment. Do it. He wants to hear from you. He's really lonely. Very lonely. Please help him. And a lot of times he doesn't get watered, so <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs>
you saint. <laughs> There's someone at my work who has like a thing of mints in their drawer. They never told me that I could really have one, but I asked one day, one day I asked for a mint and they gave it to me. And uh, since then I've been in their drawer a couple times to grab a couple more mints. How dare you? But that's about it. <laughs> it's very innocent. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh husky breath. Fresh husky breath, if that exists. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what is the longest time you've gone without brushing your teeth? Probably the longest was maybe like two days. That's 48 not bad. hours, something like that. It's the same thing for showering too. Comfortably, I can't last more than 24 hours without showering, but I'd say brushing my teeth might have been eh, maybe maybe two days. If I haven't brushed my teeth, I might just like mask it with mouthwash <laughs> in lieu of brushing my teeth, which, which is still, not, still cleans it. It's a decent substitute, but it doesn't. You can't. You cannot substitute it. <laughs> no. Not, but like it works in a pinch, you know. Yeah. Next question, what is the strangest dream you've ever had? Strangest dream? Strangest dream. Probably one of the weirdest ones that I've had that I remember pretty vividly is I was on a plane and the flight attendant was like, okay, we actually have to evacuate the plane while it's in the air. And I was like, what? So they gave me a, a, a parachute. Mm -hmm. I take the parachute, I jump out of the plane, I parachute down, and I land on the runway at the airport and that exact same plane comes down and lands on top of me. Oh. Yeah. Delightful. That's probably the weirdest one that I like remember having. Mm -hmm. well, if you could go back in time to erase one thing you said or did, what would it be? Doesn't have to be the worst thing, just something. Let's see, if I could erase anything I said or did in the past, what would it be? Yeah, yeah. Being in as long of a relationship with my <laughs> ex-girlfriend as I was, because at that time I didn't realize I was gay. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so uh, if I would have known that earlier, that would have been much better for the mm -hmm. both of us. But here we are. Easy erasure for me. <laughs> Next question. What is your biggest fantasy? <laughs> um. Or you could take the punishment. I think I'll. I think I'll take. Uh, I think I'll take the warhead. You'll take the warhead. Yeah. All right. I don't need the internet knowing about that. <laughs> so we have watermelon. I think we have lemon. We have green apple, and we have black cherry. I know the worst one you don't like is watermelon. I, I'm gonna give that one to you. Yeah, give me watermelon. I have to. You'll never know my biggest fantasy. <laughs> Not for the internet. I'll wait for it. Mmm. Mmm. Go! Oh. Is it hitting? Mm hmm. Hitting pretty hard. <coughs> <laughs> Ew! Oh no. Ugh. And just like that, it's over. Okay. The sour's gone. Mm hmm. Ugh. But the sour with the watermelon, I don't like watermelon flavor. So that was bad. <laughs> Hence the punishment. Yeah. What furry species do you think is overrated? Ooh. The whole fandom has way too many wolves and foxes. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> but I've been here for years. <laughs> um, but which one, which ones would be overrated? I'm gonna say foxes. I'm gonna single out a large part of this fandom and say That's a very fox. large. There are a lot of foxes, or at least a lot of a lot of suits that look like foxes. They might not be portrayed specifically as foxes, but there's a lot. We but need... if you're a fox, you're valid. I have a fox, Sona. Coming true. from you, yeah. Blue wolf. Yeah, blue, blue wolves. But we need we need more unique species in this fandom. That's kind of what I'm getting at here. But again, that's coming from a blue wolf. <laughs> so take it as you will. <laughs> if you could become invisible, what's the worst thing you'd do? Maybe the worst thing you would want to do? Mm -hmm. Worst thing that I would like realistically do? I don't know, like trespassing. Mm -hmm. I'd definitely try to get in somewhere where I'm not supposed to be. 
trespassing in the grandest of halls to play the finest piano available. I would do that, yeah, oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would do that. Go find some secret things that I'm not supposed to see. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff. Go play paranormal with someone that you don't like. Oh gosh. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, it would. Yeah, I might do that too. What is something in your web history that you would be embarrassed if people found out? <laughs> my web history? Like your search oh, history. Like my cookies. Mm. Like your search history, like including on FA. Yeah. Much like your biggest fantasies that are being kept a secret. I guess my web history will be kept a secret too. So take your pick. Black cherry for you. I knew that. He knows I'm not a huge fan of cherry. Mm -hmm. So welcome to redemption. Yep. Black cherry. Black cherry. Let's go. Do it. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oof. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I think the worst of it's over, but I'll give you an honest assessment. At first, it tasted like sour sawdust, and then it just turned into really sour medicine. Like stomach acid. Yeah, it tastes like vomit almost. Sour, sour, stomach acid laced medicine. Like yeah, the the syrup you drink, the, the cherry syrup you drink. Yeah, yeah, that is so that. bad. Who likes cherry? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Your web history is safe with me. It is. <laughs> Next question for you: What's the worst? birthday or Christmas gift you've ever received from a family member? Well, I feel bad because my mom is the only one that really gives me any gifts. So I have to kind of throw her under the bus for one of them. Um, when I was 16, I think, or 17, 16 or 17, my mom actually got me one of the best gifts she's ever gotten me. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I actually cried when I saw it. Oh. When when I opened it up, she got me a nice like weights setup, like a rack with a bar and like foam for like the garage outside and a bench and stuff. Right now, I would have loved that gift when I was 16 or 17 because I took it the wrong way because I wasn't lifting and I was like, oh, well, she thinks I need to be stronger or whatever. So I actually went out, saw it and I tried to pretend that I liked it. And then I started crying and then she started crying. So at that time, that was probably the worst gift that I had gotten. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite part of your body? Favorite part of my body? Feet paws. These paws are kind of nice. <laughs> They're really nice. So are my feet paws that are not, not on me right now. Is that, is that, uh, is that valid? That's valid. <laughs> That's totally valid. My favorite attribute of Emery's is his paws. They're really nice. Very valid. Yep, that's what I'm gonna say. Some dogs getting in a fight out there. Dang. I think we oughta join in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, here's an interesting one. What is the worst date you've ever been on with me? Oh. You can be completely honest with me. The worst place or the worst event. I mean, we've, we've been to some great places, some great events. But out of all of them, what might be the worst one? I've got one. Do you? Yep. Okay. And I think you would agree with me. Well, we went on a trip to Denver and Colorado Springs. Just did some stuff around there. And the first night we booked a hotel. Long story short, it was really creepy. We're pretty sure the hotel used to be either an old school or an old like hospital. Hospital. And the smell of that hotel. The smell was, was horrendous. Not good. Yeah. You woke up in the middle of the night hearing. I heard some sketchy stuff in the middle of the night. Like what? Like moaning or Yeah, it was like it was like either, yeah, like a moaning or like a like a singing type mm -hmm. thing. But it was like a child, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. It was a little higher pitch. To clarify, it wasn't moaning from anything else. It was a child. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like a singing type. That was the worst hotel the two of us have probably ever been to. Mm -hmm. So I would agree with that one. Easily. I completely forgot, <laughs> but that's a good one. What would be your go-to karaoke song, and can you give me a sample of it right now? <laughs> Or you can take some ice down your pants. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want to make you guys suffer <laughs> listening to my voice. You might say it's fantastic, but I'll spare you. I'll spare you that. Ice? You want to do 20 push-ups in full suit or ice? I'll give you the choice. I would probably choose the push-ups. I'll do the push-ups in full suit. So we'll fast forward to when I do those push-ups right now. Let's see those push-ups. Oh, this is going to be tough. One, two, three, four, five, mm. six. Feeling it already? I'm Eight, it. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, mm -hmm. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, almost there. 17, 18, 19, oh. and 20. Oh. Good job. Oh. Thoughts? A lot harder in two. <laughs> but a lot oh, more yeah, adorable. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> okay, much like your species, overrated species question, who would you consider to be an overrated popular music artist? Um, Lizzo. I think she got a lot of attention and I think she is breaking a lot of barriers and that's not a bad thing. I just really dislike her music. I think her style is seems almost overly confident and yeah, she's doing a lot of things that people like her would not do. So I have to give her credit there, but I just don't like her music. What is the first thing that you would do if you woke up as your persona? Ooh. Honestly, I mean, I can't really say quit my job. I mean, quit I quit your job and start an OnlyFans. But I, no, Cause probably not. We we all know that would make way more money. It it would. I think my morality would keep me away from OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. Even if it did make me a lot of money, but I I feel like maybe given some time, the the media attention might provide for some other opportunities aside oh, yeah. from the not safe for work stuff yeah that might afford me to quit my job but that doesn't really answer the question What's yeah the imagine what thing? the youtube channel would do oh yeah <laughs> as if it needs it <laughs> no <laughs> what, what would be the first thing i would do if i woke up as my persona I don't know. I'd play it as normal as I could. I wouldn't really do much of anything else. I'd probably pull the whole like, look at your hands and be like, <gasps> and then go look in the mirror and be like, <gasps> yeah, 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 <laughs> and like scream or something. Give it you know? five minutes and then be like, yes, yeah. I'd probably think it would be really cool, and then I would go back into the bedroom and just stuff his face full of my paws, my real paws. That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. Yeah, I would not complain. <laughs> Next question. What's the most disgusting thing you've ever done? Disgusting thing I've ever done? Yep. Or you can take your pick of punishment. I'll take the punishment. You'll take the punishment? <laughs> I'll take the punishment. Which would you rather? Um, Push-ups in full suit or uh, an ice pack? I guess I'll do push-ups. Push-ups? Yeah. All right. 20 push-ups in full suit. You ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's get it. As both my knees pad. <laughs> All right. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whoo! How'd that feel? Warm. You want to do 20 more? Don't judge me on my form. <laughs> and no thanks. I'm gonna get out of suit now. <laughs> what food have I or somebody else made for you 
that you've hated but you pretend to like. Ooh. And it can't be like at a restaurant. It's like somebody personally made you food. Yeah. And you've not liked it, but you pretended to like it. I'm trying to think of what all you've made. I mean, to be quite honest, all of what you've made for me has been spectacular. Oh. I can't say there has been any one dish that I've pretended to like because I've liked them all. I'll take it. I don't think there's been any. I'll take he's it. A great, he's a great chef. Oh. Next one for you. What is your biggest regret? My biggest regret? Biggest regret in life. I feel like we've talked about this before and it's hard for me to regret certain things because I feel like every mistake that I have made, I've learned from they all kind of brought me to this point mm -hmm. and I wouldn't want to change that. But that being said, um, should I say it? Unless you want your punishment. Yeah, I'll take the punishment. You'll take the punishment? Yeah. Okay. You can choose between an ice pack in your pants or I get to decide your clothing combo for a future video. It could mm. be as bizarre as possible. I'm tempted to pick the clothing. Yeah. Because I'm just curious to see what you can come up with. That's true. That might not be much of a punishment at all. It might be kind of funny. Mm-hmm. How about you pick? You pick the punishment. I mean, we're here for the content. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna grab that ice pack. Okay. Ice pack down the pants. Oh, this is gonna be cold. Your ice pack. Skin to ice pack contact. You can choose that if you want. This is the punishment. It's gotta be. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be on skin. Are you serious? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. How's that? Oh. That's painful. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Maybe let's we'll make keep... this next turn fast. Maybe we'll keep it there longer. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great. Hey, you're doing great. <sighs> Since I want to give you a punishment and you inspired me earlier, my question is going to be, um, what is the most disgusting thing that you've ever done? Became a furry. Oh, just kidding. Oh. That is not the most disgusting thing I've ever done. Um, I can't answer that question. I'll relieve you of your consequence from last round. Is this, is that the end of the round? That's the end of the round. Oh my gosh. I'll take that off here. <laughs> I will let you pick an ice pack for revenge or, which should be really interesting, you can choose my clothing combo for the next videos we make. I want to pick a clothing combo. Do you? Yeah, okay. I think I could come up with something pretty hideous. Probably could. Yeah. We'll have to really explain what happened in that video. That should be interesting. All right. And plus, I wouldn't want to put my worst enemy through straight ice from the freezer <laughs> right on the goods. How was that? That was, that was painful. Oh, no. I won't put you through anything, anything more. Thank you. <laughs> so for your last question, what is one movie you were embarrassed to admit that you actually enjoy. You know, I feel like a like a normal person's response would be like, oh, this Disney movie or whatever. But like, I feel like furries and a lot of young adults these days love Disney movies. Mm -hmm. So it's not like that's an embarrassing thing. Right. What's like an awful movie that I enjoy? Frozen. But that's also Disney. So. I do enjoy Frozen though. You do. I mean, you can quote it. I feel like that's probably what I'll go with. Mm -hmm. The fact that I can quote a lot of Frozen. I mean, I do have two sisters, so that plays a part, but also like, the movie's good. Soundtrack was okay. Soundtrack is good. I mean, I'll sing along with Frozen and I'll quote Frozen. I know it's not super embarrassing, but definitely a- One that you might not expect. Yeah. Speaking of Frozen. Yeah, you, <laughs> you're feeling it? I'm uh, recovering still. So. <laughs> okay, well, we've had our fair share of pretty gnarly punishments. Now it's time for you to get punished. Yeah. Just kidding, I don't know how we would do that. We're not posting any more content. That's it. <laughs> Period. Period. Let us know if you were following us in the comments down below or if you have any 
truth questions or dares that you've enjoyed, we appreciate you stopping by to watch us have some fun and have some fun with each other too. Mm -hmm. Thank you for subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.